Now for a look at what the Target 12 investigators are working on for you this Monday. As we first reported last week, former North Kingstown High School basketball coach Aaron Thomas was charged with second degree sexual assault and second degree child molestation. He's accused of inappropriate contact with two then high school students during so called naked fat testing that happened alone with the coach behind closed doors. Target 12 investigator Tim White joining us live in studio. So Thomas was charged but not arrested. Right. So any indication as to what's behind the decision not to take him into custody? Yeah, Br Brian, most of the time when someone is charged, they are also arrested or taken into custody. Right. But as you point out, that was not the case with Thomas. Generally, prosecutors are weighing two things, a threat to public safety and a risk of flight. Here, Thomas was no longer working at a school, so apparently there wasn't a high concern for public safety. And Attorney General Peter Narona told me last week that they were not concerned Thomas would take off to try and evade charges because it was well known for months that there was an ongoing criminal investigation and he didn't try and flee. Now, Thomas will be arraigned on August 19th. We should note through an attorney, Thomas has denied any criminal wrongdoing and says the naked fat tests were part of a program to better athletic performance. And another topic that you got to talk to the AG about when you met with him is the license plate readers in Providence. Yes. Steph Machado reported on this last week uh, that the city is in the process of installing these cameras. Uh, these are also in Cranston. Right. So what did the AG say? Does he support this? Well, I I'll tell you, Steph's story generated a lot of buzz when she posted it on WPRI.com. And as we speak, the city is installing 25 license plate reader cameras. They're hard to spot. This one is on Dean Street in Providence that you're looking out. The dead giveaway is that solar panel that you can see there on the on the pole. Unlike red light cameras that go off when a violation occurs, these take a picture of every car that passes by. That way, if police are looking for a, a bad guy or a stolen car, they have a huge database to comb through. But the ACLU has raised concerns that the system could be abused and is scooping up far too much information. I asked the attorney general about them last week on Newsmakers. We have been able to use some of that technology to track down people uh, involved in violent crime. So look, there's a benefit to law enforcement, no question about it. They can help keep Rhode Islanders safer. We also, though, have to balance the use of that material. So look, I understand the concerns from a big brother, if you will, perspective. Um, I think, though, that from what I've seen, the policies in place balance that in a way that protects public safety but also protects privacy. As we just saw in the video as well, the cameras in Providence are installed. You mentioned the dead giveaway of those solar panels, yes. but they're not running yet. No, they're not, but they could be soon, Brian. Uh, Steph reported they're on track to be operational by the end of the month. The city has said they're going to make a formal announcement uh, when they do come online. So we'll see. End of the month is this week. It, it, it is. It's just happens. days away. All right. Of course, Steph's full report on the license plate readers is online at WPRI.com. Target 12 investigator Tim White, thanks so much. Thank you.